Hello everyone and welcome back to Mixbus TV mixing and mastering tutorials on YouTube. Today a quick video for you guys on how to make your modern heavy electric guitars sound really huge and fat. Now this is gonna be a trick that has two options. One, I like it better on strictly metal and uh, rock guitars and the other one for when you have a song that is a, a bit of a crossover between, I don't know, electronic and dubsteps and metal and, you know, that has, a, that has a little more variety on the sounds that are present in the mix. So let's start with the first one. The first one is the one that I like better on metal and rock. And uh, I'll have you listen to the final mix, the whole mix. Uh, and then we'll we'll go into details on the guitars. So this is the mix. Done. When she loaded the gun. Okay, so that was the final mix, the whole mix. Um, and now we're gonna take a listen to just the guitar with the bass. Now, the sounds that you're gonna listen to now, uh, these guitars and bass are not uh, exactly what they ended up in the final mix because I don't have uh, all the gear that I have in studio here. So the sounds it's similar, but the concept is what is important here. So these are the guitars and the bass as they were. Okay, so not, not nothing special. Um, well, they were they, they are already pretty powerful. They were recorded with like badass tube amps and lots of mics, lots of tracks. But the fact that they are already big doesn't mean that you cannot make them like outrageously big. So uh, here's the trick: is very very simple. The trick is double the the main theme of your guitars most likely is gonna be probably along the line the, the bass line at least for this song it was with a simple one note piano now for this trick it will sound weird but i like actually a free vst plugin that is called forefront piano this is it it's free uh download link in the description box below and i'm running this uh vst by the blue cat patchwork into pro tools and yes it will work also on uh, pro tools 11 and i like this plugin it's free and actually for some reason the tone of this piano i find that it blends very very well with the electric guitars now the point here oh by the way this plugin has no setting <laughs> as it says so it's like as easy as it gets. You open it up and you play the MIDI notes, that's it. So the whole point here is not to make the piano obvious and audible. It just needs to, to make your guitars fatter, that's it. You shouldn't hear the piano, you shouldn't recognize that the piano is there. You should only feel that the piano is not there when you mute it, so. Let's take a listen to it. So again, uh, very basic, one note for the main theme. And I'll let you hear just the piano.
okay? So this is this is just the piano solo. Very simple. One note for the theme, and that's it. And um, the only processing that I did was quite a bit of compression, and as you can see, filters, and a little bit of EQ, just to make it blend with the guitars. So, compression has a slow-ish attack, because on electric guitars, distortion pretty much shave off all the, the, the uh, transients, it's in the nature of the beast. And with the piano, I also want a little bit of attack. So to, to, to make it to make it like more uh, intelligible, the, the whole theme. So let's hear it again. Okay, so this is just the piano. Now, Let's unsolo it and first the guitars without the piano. Now with the piano. Okay, so in those two notes is very is more apparent. You would want to to like lower the volume that in that in the, in those two spots, but that's just uh, just just an example. So again, with or without. Okay. So again, the, 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 the purpose is not to make the piano audible, it's just to make the whole guitar bass uh, sound bigger and fatter. You shouldn't recognize that a piano isn't there. So here's, here's again the whole mix. Uh, let's go there. Okay, and here are guitars with the piano. Without. Okay, so um, I think it works pretty well, and uh, again, I like this option of the piano on metal and rock songs and now i'm gonna close this project and open another one and i'll show you the second option okay here we are with the okay here we are with our second example for our guitar trick is the same concept pretty much but uh while i like the the clean big low piano, acoustic piano sound on metal and rock. I like this kind of uh, sounds on mixes like this. So some sort of hybrid between dubstep and heavy metal and rock and pretty much anything where you have a little more uh, variety on, on the sounds that you can use, whether it is to double the, the guitar sound or in the mix itself. So. Here's the whole mix. Okay, so 
one thing that we didn't mention before when you double the guitars with this kind of method whether it is the piano or the sounds that we are gonna listen to in a minute uh is very important that you pick the right parts don't double the whole rhythm guitars because that defeat the purpose pretty much what you want is to pick maybe the chorus usually or the part that you want to sound bigger than anything else and and double that part and don't don't double every note especially if the parts that is played by the guitar is very articulated just stick to basic notes and basic theme because that is how you make the sound of the guitar and the bass bigger without making the the piano or the synth sound obvious okay and of course it comes without saying very very often when you when you hear these huge sounding guitars well half of the sound is actually the bass okay the guitars if you listen to them alone are not that big but anyway let's take a listen to our guitars without the actually without the sounds that were made with massive in this case okay this is just bass and guitars Okay, as you can see, this is the part where we doubled the guitars. And these are the sounds. Let's take a listen to the first one. Okay. That's the second one. The bass is going in the meantime. Okay. And this is another part that is actually doubling this one that you you're you're gonna hear now is doubling the whole song the the whole part of the rhythm guitars Okay, I wanted you to hear the, the the other parts too because the reason this this track that is the one up here the the reason um, because this one is different and is dub and is doubling the whole the whole song is because it has a different purpose. I want if you listen to the tracks you realize this. What I wanted from this track was just the sizzle. I want. To, I wanted the guitars to sound a little more modern and again they were recorded with a, a badass tube amps and, and and they were very rock they were they were very metal and uh, I wanted them to sound a little more I don't want to say fake but a little more modern uh, I wanted some electronic components in the guitar sounds and now this sizzle is you know, I thought it was it was fitting the track well. So let's hear the three doubling sounds all together. Okay. So what I wanted from the first one, this was the was was the body was some beef some st stereo beef weirdness okay 
you hear it, it goes very well with the bass too it has this some sort of bark in the middle mid frequency low mid frequency okay from the second one I wanted this pulse and again some some grittiness in 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 the mid area and the sizzle from the top and these are the guitars without it okay again Let's put it back in one at a time. And the whole mix. Okay, so you hear it when when we bring the drums and all the other synth all together is the these three sounds that double the guitars are not so obvious, not as obvious as when we listen to them in solo. So last time. Without them. Okay, so this is it. Two little tricks I hope you liked to make your guitar sound bigger, fatter, heavier and more badass in general. Uh, please like the video and subscribe and see you next time.